Hello and welcome to another cool smartphone video. Today we're going to have a look at the 950XL uh, from Microsoft. Um, but primarily we're going to be looking at the software. So uh, there is some significant changes to the actual operating system over what we were used to with Windows Phone 8.1. Um, the first real change is noticeable when you drag down your notification bar you'll notice that you still have your five icons that you used to have but up here you've also got the expand option now by tapping on that expand option you now get another 10 options this is very very similar to what has been seen on windows 10 on your desktop okay dragging that back up and getting rid of it you've also now got cortana integration although that was present on windows 8.1 it has been improved slightly, so it is now a lot more uh, significant on the phone. And it ties in very, very nicely again with your desktop uh, version of Cortana. Um, as you can see over here, you've got your notebook. and um, So you can actually see there that it picked up what I was saying to a fairly close standard. Multitasking now looks very very much like it did on uh, it does on your windows desktop um, and um, if you've already seen the continuum demo video you'll see that we now have continuum on here as well via the means of both a wireless adapter or even a wired dock now i have had success using both wireless adapters and wireless docks so you don't need to shell out the extra money for the wired dock however at the moment microsoft i believe at the time of this printing this article and doing this video, Microsoft are giving them away for free, so it'd be daft not to. Coming out of that, uh, this is also a new feature, sorry, um, uh, convenient accident there. This is the ability to uh, set the phone to be one-handed mode. Now, you might be able to make that text out, basically saying, uh, tap here to exit one-handed use, press and hold the start button, to activate. So if I press and hold the start button, you can now see that the phone is in one-handed mode, which I'll be honest with you, in my time using the phone, I've not actually used this, but it's there if you want it. Tapping the black above gets you back into the full UI. Something those of you familiar to Windows Phone may have already noticed is up in the top, uh, up where I have my contacts here and also in the people hub here. Um, the icons for people are now circular. This is something I'm not a huge fan of, if I'm brutally honest. Um, I much preferred the old square style layout that they had on the old phones. Um, that's us now in the editing mode for the icons. You've still got your familiar pin and unpin, if it'll focus. There you go. And also your expandability, so you can expand these icons and move them around nice and easily. Uh, you do have the ability to actually put more icons on the screen if you want to. I'm quite happy with this fairly rudimentary uh, six icon uh, layout. Um, sorry, eight small tile, small icon layout. Across here, this has changed slightly. You now have the ability to search and um, again it does look more like the all apps menu from a windows 10 computer um, when using continuum mode this uh, some of these apps are grayed out because they are not universal apps uh, tapping on the home button there um, what i'm actually going to do now is i'm going to drag down from the top and i'm going to go into all settings this is new okay so the all set the settings menu has been cleaned up significantly Windows 8.1 settings was a bit of a nightmare and the older version of Windows Phone you had, the worse the settings got. What they now have done is they've now categorized them in a very, very similar manner to those using Windows 10 on a PC. Uh, so you can see pretty much everything you need to see. If we go into the About menu there, you'll be able to see that I'm currently running uh, Windows 10 Mobile and I'm on the latest retail build which is um, 10586.29 um, 
I haven't used this on the Insider program, although it is fully available to do so. Um, I haven't needed to. Um, that being said, this is my second device. The first device did have a noticeable glitch where um, the device would actually reboot every five or so minutes. Um, something else we have in here, we now have the ability of mouse and USB in here. The reason for this is, um, well, continuum. You can use a mouse with it, really. Uh, so you can set up your mouse buttons, uh, what you'd like them to do. You can also connect that mouse via Bluetooth, if you wish to do so. Um, and also USB notification area as well. Um, another thing that's changed is the Windows 10 camera interface. So if we pop into the camera, um, you'll be pleased to know, Nokia fans of old, that uh, the camera seems to have been, let's get that glare of the light out of the way, the camera seems to have picked up on where uh, Lumia, sorry, Nokia left off. So dragging that out, you still get your concentric rings, which will control um, ISO, uh, white balance, uh, focus, and also your shutter speed. So you can play around with these, that changes your exposure, that one changes your, sh your um, ISO, that one changes your shutter speed, and uh, you do get a live preview of what you're doing. Um, uh, it's fairly difficult to do this with uh, one hand, so I'm not going to try and do that. But this does create for a very, very nice camera interface, um, and I have been very, very happy with it. Um, another feature that we have is the ability to change lighting after a photo has been taken. So this photo was taken the other night in a fairly dark environment, um, in a nightclub, and if I now tap back into that and I go to choose best lighting, what happens is we get a edit screen come up and I can play around with the lighting levels. It's not a big difference. Uh, let me just scroll that all the way up to the top. So you can see there that the lights are the reflected lights on the dance floor change from a green to a yellow. Um, this is something new uh, for the Windows camera. Um, in conjunction it also has something called um, Real Image, which uh, is very very similar to HTC Zoe. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan. I'm just trying to find an image with that now. So that's a real image image there. So you may have noticed if I scroll back into that, a little bit of movement from the person behind, and then it freezes on what it thinks was the best image. Um, again, it's not something I'm a huge fan of, but it's there if you want it. So that is a brief overview of the Lumia 950 XL from Microsoft. Uh, for a full review, please do read the attached uh, link on this video or if you've uh, come from coolsmartphone.com keep on reading and uh, this is going to be available to buy very very soon I believe um, if you're watching this before the 19th of January um, it will be available on the 19th if you are watching after then it will be available from your uh, from Carphone warehouse stores already um, thanks for watching this video if you want to give it a like or a dislike please feel free to go ahead. They are in the uh, bits down here. And while you're at it, please subscribe to this video for more content like this and um, on other phones and tablets from coolsmartphone.com. Thank you very much.